What's up everybody? Welcome to York Reacts and today we're going to be checking out Atomic Heart which is a new game that's going to be releasing I think in about the next month or so. It's been in development for a long time now. It's been about four or five years something. It's been a while but some of the gameplay looks really awesome and we're going to see another glimpse of some of this gameplay in a reveal trailer that they kind of released recently during an NVIDIA kind of demo. So I, if you are new to my channel, um, I do animation for a living for games and film and stuff like that. So hopefully I can give you guys some cool insights to this trailer. Maybe I can break down some of these scenes if we can. So let's take a look, shall we? Let's dive in. First we'll watch it all the way through and then um, I'll break it down in kind of slow-mo sections later. So let's just enjoy it, shall we? Wow, look at the environments. Look nice. Yeah. Sick. Look at this gameplay. I've seen some of this stuff before. It's so cool. Looks like Bioshock. This is not a bad one. Atomic Heart, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice, very nice work. So let's slow motion some of this stuff here and break down some of this trailer. So one thing I really liked is the environments. They look really beautiful. It looks like they're showing off some of this new reflection capabilities and you know, and stuff that they can do finally with kind of people's graphics cards and being able to push kind of this tech a little bit. You know, it sounds silly that like reflections in the water and stuff like that is something big in a game, but it actually is because in the past you could, you couldn't do that. And in a lot of games, like when you see the reflections, they're actually like faked. And so now we're going to get real time kind of reflections and it's going to look a lot better with the tech that they're able to do with NVIDIA and, and, and now with the PS5 and a lot of these games coming out with P on PC. So pretty cool stuff. This environment here, you know, it, it's pretty cool. Nothing nothing really special to talk about here. It's just a, you know, a bland environment. This one here, it kind of jumped out at me a little bit. And one thing is is that if you look closely at these like um these wood posts here, uh the fence posts, they look too perfect, man. They they're just so uh if you look at the edges of them, looks like they got cut and put on there like 2 days ago. And the textures are exactly the same. So if you look at this one here, this very end one, and then you look at this one here, it looks like it's the exact same texture, sorta. Um, it'd be nice if they kind of broke this up more and made it more damaged and, and you could see the screws and one's missing a screw and you know, that type of thing. It's like when you see a Pixar movie or a, or a you know, you look at a game that's done by a big developer, those are the things that set it apart, right? It's those tiny details. And so I want to see some of that in here if they can if they can pull it off and get it in there. Great stuff though. They're showing a lot of environment work in here because that's to show off a lot of what you're going to be in in the game, right? Like this section here looks so cool. And I don't know how this is all suspended in air, sort of, or if this is just like a frozen moment in time and then they're just kind of panning through it because it looks like this blood is like splattered and moving. So that was kind of weird. Um, this is cool. It looks like a 3D whale um, that is kind of like on display and you can see it's like neural system and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Maybe it's like a, a creature you fight in the game down underneath the water. That'd be really cool. Now, this section stood out to me animation wise, because if you look at um, these characters, they're made of metal, which is, you know, they're kind of like robots or whatever, right? Um, but I feel like they, they really need to move in a very beautiful way. And when the woman here leans over, if it, it you can kind of tell it's not motion capture. It's it's hand keyframed, and it moves kind of strange and abruptly. The only part that I feel looks look really nice is this hand part where she goes like this and clasps the key. 
Ooh, I like that. That looks really good. The animator did a nice job on that. This is cool. It's showing how many different things you can do in this game with, with gameplay, with the gameplay mechanics, with different weapons and different, like I said earlier, this feels like Bioshock, right? Because you're going to have these abilities that you can kind of do um, with your hand. You can spray out ice right here, right? And you can freeze enemies and then run up to them and bash them down with something. It's awesome. This stuff looks cool. This looks like some kind of goopy stuff. You can slow down the enemy. Um, I'd like to see them kind of work on that a little more. Maybe make it thicker. Make it so like it literally stops the character in their tracks for a little bit. And then they break out of it. That'd be kind of cool. Um, one thing I noticed is this snake character kind of like goes right through the ground here. See that? Psh, it goes right through. Boom, 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 boom. And it's kind of sinking into the ground. They got to watch out some of that stuff before they, you know, do final release. But this is a cool character concept. It's always kind of cool to have a big worm style creature in a game. It's kind of threatening. It's massive. It's pretty cool. Look at this stuff. I think it's awesome. This game looks badass. I hope you guys are going to go out and play this game and support these developers. It's a very small team. You know, I want to be a small team out there soon, maybe one day doing my own game. And so I'm hoping that like more and more people go out and support developers like this because we need it. Because sooner or later, um, where this technology is going to become easier and easier for people to make games, which it's doing now. And before you know it, there's going to be a lot of people that are making their own games with smaller teams. So I'm really excited to kind of see what they do with this game and hoping that people go out and buy it and support the whole industry behind this. So hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this trailer. You enjoyed this breakdown. You know, if you did, you know what buttons to press because they're down below. There's a big red one. You can turn the other one blue. You know, if you're new here, um, I do all kinds of different stuff here. I do breakdowns on trailers. I also do, you know, breakdowns on animations that I personally worked on in games. If you have the time, check them out. I'll even put one here up at the top and below or up above. Basically, you can go check it out. It's a cinematic that I worked on on God of War. I'd love for you to check it out and see the breakdown on that and see the kind of behind the scenes stuff. So I appreciate all your time and support. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.